Okay, so here's an anterior view of the larynx, and we had to carefully dissect this out. It was covered by a lot of muscle tissue. Here and here we can see the bilobed thyroid gland that sits below the larynx. And this part of the larynx is the biggest piece of cartilage. That's the thyroid cartilage. And the cricoid cartilage is below that. What you can see sticking up back here is the epiglottis. I'm gonna turn that around so you can look at a posterior view. And what we did was we cut mid-sagittally along the cricoid cartilage in the back. So all of this is cricoid opened up. And we did that so we could look inside and this little triangle right here is the arytenoid cartilage. The arytenoid cartilage happens to attach to the true vocal cord. This little pocket that I have my probe in is the true vocal cord or the vocal fold. The little wrinkle above it is the false vocal cord, not involved in sound production. And so the space between the two vocal cords, because you'd have the same thing on the other side here, the space between the two is the glottis. So the epiglottis is elastic cartilage. It covers the glottis when you're swallowing food and the food passes over you know, the backside of the epiglottis so that it doesn't go into the airway. Okay, you can see.